Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about CSS browser support. And this is always like a, a hot topic issue in CSS, which is like which browsers support which CSS tags and which CSS functionality. So there's a bunch of different browsers. I mean, some of the most popular uh, are Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Opera. Those are sort of like uh, you know, the main sort of heavy hitters when it comes to browsers. And when you're writing your CSS, you want to make sure that the CSS that you use in one browser is going to show up the same in another browser. So you might be building your entire website in, let's say, Google Chrome, but then you go view your website on Firefox and wait, suddenly everything looks different. Or you view your website on Internet Explorer, like one of the early versions, and nothing works. So one of the things you have to worry about when you start developing with CSS is does your CSS work across all the browsers? And for the most part, like the basic CSS that you're using is probably going to be fine. When you start to get into more like fringe CSS, like stuff that's maybe newer or stuff that's not used as much, it may or may not be supported by all the major browsers. And what you really don't want to do is just say like, well, most of my users are going to be using Google Chrome. So like it's going to support everything like you can't have that mentality when you're building a website. You have to be able to support as many people as possible. So I'm over here on this W3 schools website and this is a page called CSS browser support reference. It's w 3 schoolscom forward slash CSS ref forward slash CSS three underscore browser support. And this is a really great page because um, it really just kind of lists out all of the different CSS properties. So we have these CSS properties over here. And then over here, we have all of the browsers that support them. So you can see like Safari version nine, Chrome version 21, Firefox version 28. Like it basically will tell you like which versions of which browsers support which tags. And you kind of have to make a decision like, okay, where do I want to like cut off my support? And Traditionally in the realm of like CSS browser support, sort of like the person that's holding everyone behind ends up being Internet Explorer. And so generally, you know, browsers like Chrome and Firefox are sort of on top of stuff. Um, but then like Internet Explorer like is just like such a dog when it comes to supporting these different CSS properties. So you want to make sure that all of the properties that you're using are going to display all right across all these different browsers. And you can use this table over here to, you know, sort of inform your decisions. So like I said, most of the common CSS tags, you're going to have no problem getting support, but for other ones, it's going to be a little bit dicier, right? Some browsers might support them. Some browsers might not. So, I mean, there's really nothing I can do to like, prepare you. I mean, really what you should do is just kind of look through. If you think that one of the tags that you're using might not be able to be supported, you can just kind of look through. So for example, um, one of these like animation tags, sometimes you'll have to add in extra tags. So for example, with this animation delay, we can use this animation tag, but if you want it to be like full on supported by every single browser, you're going to have to add this extra WebKit animation delay tag. So there's all sorts of like little things like that that you might have to do. And the way that you're going to be able to figure that out is just by looking through this list and, you know, figuring out what you need to do. But again, for most of the basic CSS tags, you're going to be fine support wise. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.